<laughs> you know what I'm trying to remember so, when this house was built? Uh, this one was was built in 2000, it was finished in 2009. Um, when it was finished, uh, the next, the, the governor came in, didn't stay in till later on. Um, because it was built by like the opposition at that time. So, but now the new government is in and when it was built, it was called the Flagstaff House. When our president, um, our first president, Dr. Kwame Nkrumah, was president, he used to live around here. It was called the Flagstaff House. But it was built when Ghana was actually celebrating its 50th independence anniversary. So it's named the Jubilee House. Oh. Jubilee House. Now, how big is this uh, property? It's very big. It goes way back to the other side. It's very huge. Oh, so they have more land in the White House. <laughs> <laughs> Because yes, kind of, yes. right, well, uh, most people don't use, um, the, when the president is coming, doesn't use this main entrance, he uses the back entrance. Oh, you got a little back door exit. Yeah. Back door, that's right, go to the back door. <laughs> All right, family, give you another shot outside. The Jubilee House. You know what I meant to ask, uh, do, do they do tours in there? Or no. are you, are you no, not no, government, you can't be in no, there? No, yes, you're not government, you can't be in there. You know, so they got tours at the White House. Yeah. Oh, okay. 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 Um, so, family, that's what the tour guy was talking about. It's a, just like a stool. Right. Wow. Uh, Safa, who built this? Uh, who built this whole entire setup so it was um we had sponsors from china the chinese damn chinese <laughs> <laughs> The, the Chinaman, the Chinaman everywhere in the world. Chinaman took over. Yeah. The Chinaman took over Jamaica. He come for Ghana. I heard that. Yes. Yeah. Cats of the world. So you can't originate, they only duplicate. Yes, exactly. <laughs> and duplicate with uh and duplicate with um low quality. So family, that is it, the flagstaff house here in Accra, Ghana. You can see the Ghanaian president reside. And as you can see, this is a massive, huge property that goes it's a full city block. And we are heading back to the Mekin Hotel and trying to cruise to the rush hour in Accra, Ghana. Yeah, this is our Chocho. Now people are heading back home. In the morning, the traffic's on the other side. And when it's getting to five, traffic's on this side. And when people are closed from work. And, and most schools close around three, two thirty and three o'clock. So parents pick up their kids back home. But most um, offices close by five o'clock. And so there's some people who close over the office by four o'clock. And then market women and then people who went to the market to shop and then have to go back um, to their various homes would leave letters by three to avoid the traffic. Because when the traffic builds, like start building up like this, it goes all the way to like seven or eight o'clock. So it's cleared, yes. Oh, well, that's it, family. So we have just passed Sad House, seated oh, the president, hey, and giving you a nice little yeah, view of the streets of Accra to traffic on our way back to the And hotel. so, you know, here in Ghana, we could say before you, the, the, the streets <laughs> is like a small street mall. There's a mall on the street. You can actually buy everything, anything that you want before you get home. You don't have to get to the market. Because you can actually have um, hardware stuff right on the street. So everything, yeah, you get everything here on the street. Car traffic.